supermodel Emma avoids Ariel at the perfume event. Old model Emma refuses to share stage with mini Emma. What a loser! Emma's selfish and jealous of the new models. Richard, what the hell is happening? Did you watch the news today? The fans are demanding an official apology for Emma's absence at the perfume event. Of course, Star Age is taking advantage of this and creating hype for themselves. I know it's going out of hand. Do you even realize how hard Emma has worked to get where she is today? If you can't respect her, at least don't destroy her. She doesn't deserve this. What should we do now? That sick model Ariel will not let things go so easily. I will do my best to hold back the media. Hey, Emma, it's Richard. Yes? I'm calling about the perfume event. I wanted to... If you had no interest in being my manager, you should have made it clear to me and Charlotte. Don't worry about the perfume endorsement. I will find a way to fix the situation. I know how to handle situations like these. I promise I'll take care of it. Emma felt confused and a bit upset, wondering why someone like Richard found joy in causing problems only to fix them later. Despite her calm exterior, she was bothered. Ariel was gradually closing in on her, and Emma needed to redirect her focus to deal with the situation. Meanwhile, a video of Ariel crying started circulating, stirring emotions. Ariel had influence, but she seemed to be using it in the wrong ways. Just saw the news. How are you feeling now? Honestly, I feel terrible. Ariel was so smart. She's just 16. Why does she want to get into this dirty politics? She's totally enjoying it. Do you still want to go easy on her? No way. If she doesn't care about her own future, why should I? Good to know. If it was for me, I would have done the same thing. Luke, get me everything you can on Ariel Lewis, no matter how big or small. Get the details on my table right away. Yes, Eric. Also, get a hold on the media. Get this incident off the charts. Are you sure? Thought Emma didn't want you to interfere. Emma, who was completely in the dark of Eric's moves, decided to get back to action. She requested the perfume giants for a chance to redeem herself. Regardless of anyone's fault, it was her who did not show up at the event and needed to make it right. The same afternoon, Emma arrived for the meeting. After an agonizing two-hour wait, Emma got her chance. You have 10 minutes to explain yourself. I want to apologize, Mr. Blair, for my absence at your event. It had nothing to do with Ariel Lewis. It was just some miscommunication. I am confident that my love for perfume is no less than yours. And for that, I'd like to present this perfume to you as a gift. This perfume? Are you familiar with perfumes? I might know a thing or two. Mr. Blair was fascinated by the perfume and its unique fragrance. After all, Emma had a long history in the perfume business, so he decided to let it go. Misunderstandings happen. It's part and parcel of the game. I will make sure to clear things up from our end. Thank you for understanding, Mr. Blair. Miss Lewis has been hurt because of my mistake, and I feel guilty about it. In that case, why don't you pick out a present for her, too? I am sure your level of tolerance will help her relieve the awkwardness. Emma was the kind of person who knew how the world worked. Although Mr. Blair had made her wait for more than two hours, she wasn't upset about it. On the contrary, she used it to her advantage to truly earn Mr. Blair's approval. Since you gave me such a special perfume, I will give you a gift as well. They had released a new special edition fragrance recently, and it only had a few bottles of it in the entire world. Mr. Blair decided to send one of those to Star Age on Emma's behalf. That's too much, Mr. Blair. We were in the wrong here, too. If only my staff had been diligent enough to contact you before the event, all this could have been avoided. It's not fair for you to take all the responsibility. Treat this as a token of goodwill. Thank you, Mr. Blair. Mr. Blair admired Emma throughout the conversation. In the world of chaotic outbursts, Emma's calmness came as a pleasant surprise. But little did he know that Emma's plan was already in place. She knew could never send a gift personally to Star Age as there could be a trap waiting for her. Emma, but what was the real reason for your absence at the event? Well, I had just signed with a new agency and there was a bit of miscommunication with the new manager. So you were not aware of this event at all? 
And yet you protected both your agency and the manager? It only worked because you, Mr. Blair, were so understanding. The two of them continued to chat over wine for quite some time, until Eric called over, sounding concerned. Where are you, Emma? I will come pick you up. I am still here at HQ. Okay, we'll be there in 10. Boyfriend? No, my husband. Are you afraid of this news getting out in public? Not exactly. Revealing it wouldn't benefit anyone in any way. <laughs> you are smart indeed. Just then, Eric arrived at the office. As eager as Mr. Blair was to come face to face with Emma's husband, he was quite shocked upon meeting him. He was none other than the undisputed king of the entertainment business, the dashing Eric Roberts. <laughs> Your wife's tolerance is quite low, I must admit. But I am curious. Are you really her husband? Yes, that's me. I would like to take my wife home. Eric carried Emma out and gently placed her in the car. He delicately caresses her hair and kisses her forehead. Just then, Emma opened her eyes slowly with her arms around his neck. Emma, how am I supposed to drive you home like this? I was just pretending to be drunk. Emma, you really are something. Come on now, let's get you home. If you want to tell me something, let's talk there. There might be eyes on us. We have to be careful. I know. Let's get back home quickly. I have a plan ready for Ariel. Emma had been acting drunk all this while to get away from Mr. Blair just to win him over. Is Emma's plan already in place? Is Emma ready to give back to Ariel? How will the 16-year-old take Emma's wrath? Hi guys, Emma here. Don't let your excitement die. The full audio series is on the Pocket FM app. Tap the link in the description to install now.